The 900 series trip ticket is used to report fin fish landings, but can also be used for any species of commercial catch. It only documents a single fishing trip per form. The first section records the fisherman's information exactly as it appears on the commercial fishing license. Do not record oyster harvester licenses in this section. Print the vessel license number for saltwater landings only. Leave blank for freshwater species or if the fisherman did not use a boat. Add the number of hours spent on the water fishing, rounded to the nearest hole number. For a Coast Guard documented vessel, print the vessel name and the documentation number. Or, if the fisherman is using a Louisiana registered boat, print the boat's state registration number only. Write no boat here if the fisherman did not use a boat or a boat without a motor. For area fished, use the department's map that breaks Louisiana down into sub-basins. For oysters, use the department map that breaks down basins into individual reefs. Do not use the LDH area number here. To find the gear used code, check the department's trip ticket manual. Keep this manual handy for the rest of the ticket. This next section records the dealer information exactly as it appears on the wholesale retail or fresh products license. Wholesale retail dealers should record the date of transaction. Fresh products licensees will add the date of the fishing trip. The final section records the actual trip information. Write in the species being sold and the correct species code from the trip ticket manual. The unit is the measure used to sell or purchase the seafood, like pounds or by the head. Unit codes are on page 52, as are the codes for the condition of your seafood. Here, croaker are being sold as individual fish as live bait, while white shrimp and blue crabs are being sold whole with heads on. Quantity is the total volume being sold, based on the unit and condition. This example shows 900 individual croaker, while shrimp and crab document the total number of pounds. The count or market section records shrimp count and crab and fish markets. Shrimp count are the estimated number of shrimp per pound. From the trip ticket manual, blue crab will generally be codes 1 through 4, or a mix of sizes, like a mix of 1 to 4 crabs. Other crab markets include busters, softshell, and female crabs. A market is not needed for most finfish species. Some of the exceptions include black drum, bowfin row, red row mullet, tuna, and shark fins. The price per unit will depend on the unit measure. In this example, croaker are being sold for eight cents per individual, while white shrimp are being sold for $1.25 per pound. Record the total dollar amount sold of each species per line. If any species require a permit, print the species name, then enter S for state or F for federal. You only have to report a state permit number. In this section, document any deductions to the total amount paid the fisherman. For example, if you wish to trade fuel, ice, or bait for seafood. This section is not required. Fill out the total section for your records if you choose. It is not required. If you do mess up on a line, check the void box next to it and fill out a new line. Do not try to scratch out or write over your numbers. To void the entire ticket, check the box in the top right-hand corner. Do not write void across the entire ticket. Both parties should sign once everything is entered correctly. Fresh product license holders should sign in both places. Your trip ticket is now complete and should be turned in with the monthly submission sheet. Remember, all trip ticket data is due by the 10th of the following month for the preceding month and is kept strictly confidential. Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries should receive the white copy of trip tickets. The dealer retains the pink copy and the fisherman is given the yellow copy.